a brand new sedan. But do we actually need this? At a time when SUVs are pretty much unprecedented, is there any room left for sedans? Corollas, Elantras, Accords and now even the Superb. Kya hua unke saath? Where are they? So why Hyundai and likes have confidence in sedans like these and have kept them alive? Kya ye SUV se behter hai? Well, perhaps. I know, the Verna isn't a direct rival to any SUV. But considering that similarly priced SUVs have all the fancy, I wonder why would buyers be interested in the Verna? Could it be for the looks? Well, sports utility vehicles. They look anything but sporty to me. They are butch, bold and handsome. Sporty and sexy? This is that design for me. You know what? One of my friends called me when a first look video went on and he was like, Bhai, nahi varna kya lag rahi hai. And I concur. But few colleagues of mine, they said that the design looks a bit busy given so many character lines on the bonnet and along the profile. But you know what? It doesn't because it's done very nicely. The angular power lines on the bonnet, the parametric jewel grille that dominates the face and the headlights that's so seamlessly integrated that you don't know where they are unless they are lit. But there's a small problem. The design takes me to the future and deviates a bit from the traditional conventional stance of a sedan. Yes, it's a bit EV-like and for some, while that might be a problem, कुछ लोगों को ये बहुत ही ज्यादा पसंद आने वाली है द फेस माइट बी अ लव इट और हेट इट अ फेयर बट द प्रोफाइल इज लव एट फर्स्ट साइट द कैरेक्टर लाइन डिफाइन द लेंथ ऑफ द कार वेरी अप्रोप्रिएटली एंड द सिक्सटीन इंच व्हील्स आर जस्ट द राइट साइज द ब्लैक यूनिट लुक्स वेरी स्पोर्टी ऑन द टर्बो बट द ड्यूल टोल ऑन द नॉर्मल पेट्रोल लुक्स वेरी एलिगेंट माई पर्सनल फेवरेट दीज लाइन द राइजिंग कैरेक्टर लाइन and the coupe line that falls very beautifully onto the boot merging with the rear and onto the rear well baby has got back looks sexier compared to any other angle and the full width tail light bar gets your attention instantly the bumper too is sharp enough to go with the sporty character more so with the contrast treatment you get here on the lip Hyundai designers never fail to amaze us. And yes, it looks quite the baby Sonata. Now, it's time to get behind the wheel as we drive to the recently opened Delhi Mumbai National Expressway. Because 158 brake horsepower and 253 Newton meters of peak torque. Segment leading. Let's see how that feels like. Whoa, this thing is fast. Germans have a competition now. A tap on the pedal and it takes off. Or what is it? The 1.5 liter engine feels sportier in the Verna compared to any other SUV because power to weight ratio is much more better. Alcazar recently got this engine and the upcoming Creta facelift will get it as well. But that kick which you get from the engine is felt strongly in this Verna. Primarily because it's lighter on its feet. 8.1 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour to be precise. The 1.5 turbo petrol motor belts out 158 brake horsepower at 5500 rpm and a good 253 Newton meters of peak torque at 1500 to 3500 rpm. Being mated to the 6-speed manual transmission, it delivers 20 km per liter as per the ARAI. While mated to the 7-speed dual clutch transmission or DCT gearbox, it returns 20.6 km per liter. The 1.5 naturally aspirated MPI petrol on the other hand puts out 113 brake horsepower at 6300 rpm and 144 Nm of peak torque at 4500 rpm. Mated to the 6-speed manual gearbox, it delivers 18.6 km per liter, 
while the IVT automatic variant returns 19.6 km per litre. We have the 1.5 turbo manual car for the day, while we'll soon give you the review of other iterations as well. Today, let's stick to what we got. And this 1.5 litre engine, the power delivery is smooth compared to the 1.4 litre it replaces in its SUVs. Off the line, the delivery is linear, so the power build up across the rift band till 5000 rpm and even beyond that is linear and you won't feel any jerk there. It has got a good low end, a meaty mid range and even towards the top end you have some power left so yes there is more noise but still there is some progression and that's the beauty of this engine. So yes, in your daily commutes, this is the car which will give you a comfortable drive with a pinch of sportiness. And compared to the 1 litre turbo engine it replaces in the Verna, it's ahead by leaps and bounds. Chaliye, performance mein to Verna kisi SUV se kam nahi hai. Ab thodi handling ke taraf dhyan de. Now imagine approaching a sharp corner like this in an SUV. you'll have to slow down your car because body rolls are inevitable. Okay? But if you are in the Verna, you might as well continue without brushing your brakes because body rolls come here. Karan, the Verna being a sedan has a more linear and aerodynamic design. So it favors handling. Body rolls come pata chalte compared to any other SUV and passengers inside are more comfortable. Also, cabin ke andar ka jo air hai, wo bhi kam hota hai. And that's why it adds to the comfort and you feel less sideward movement inside the car. So yes, that's again a big plus of being in a sedan. So yes, you get better confidence around the corners and Verna itself has come a long way in terms of handling. A Volkswagen Virtus, it is still not. But yes, compared to the predecessor, it's a lot more confidence inspiring around corners and on the twisties, also when you're making lane change maneuvers. So that's a big thumbs up. The Verna might not be the sharpest dance around corners like some of its German counterparts. But pehle se kafi jada sporty or stable feel hoti hai. Thanks to the well-measured weight distribution and the 0.01 CD reduction in drag coefficient. That's now rated at 0.30 CD. And if we steering feedback, then yes, it feels way better than before because even at higher speeds, the steering is nicely weighed up. In the city, it's light and precise, hota hai, so easy for driving. Also, clutch is very light for city driving, so it feels very at that time. Pe. But yes, when you are speeding up on the highway, you get ample weight and you get generous amount of feedback as well. So, so far, so good. Now, ride quality, ki agar baat kare to, iske do SUVs have bigger wheels and a more robust suspension setup. So, over rough roads, it is an advantage. On the other hand, Verna has comparatively smaller wheels, 16 inch to be precise, and a more stiffer suspension setup. That said, how long will you be driving on those roads? Right now, we are on the newly inaugurated Delhi Mumbai Expressway, and we have a smooth tarmac. So Basically, you'll have to decide on your purpose. If most of your commute involves driving on smooth roads, where there is a lot of deep pothole or undulation or a lot of big speed breakers, then Verna will serve your purpose better. And 16-inch wheels, hai, just one inch ka difference. Hai. And even in terms of ground clearance, it's over 160 millimeters. So that's ample for any highway commute or any city commute basically as far as you're on the road. Behind the wheel, I see no reason to not buy the Verna. Because I'm going to drive the road on the road. But what about other passengers? 
Now on to the rear seat and if I am being chauffeur driven, this is the place that I will prefer to be in because I am at a better position here, it's more comfortable, I am seated nice and low, seat ka to angle and backrest angle is good and I have decent under thigh support. Then when it comes to legroom, it's a big improvement because the wheelbase is 70mm longer, I have 120mm more legroom and 93mm better knee room. So yes, quite a generous amount of space inside the cabin, I can fold my fold here. And even in terms of body rolls, this is a better place to be in because when my chauffeur is making lane changes or making maneuvers, I am not feeling that much body roll. Now when it comes to features, you get all the features here. You have an aircon vent, hai, then place to keep my phone, two type C charging ports, drop down armors with cup holders and behind this sun blind. Bhi milta hai. So, Yes, a decent place to be in. The other addition was for the side window ke sun blinds ke liye bhi could have made for a better package. If you look at one or two things, you get all you need inside this cabin. But what about the area behind the cabin? Yes, the boot space. Do you get a compact SUV? Ki jitni jagah milegi? So 528 liters of boot space and it can gobble quite a lot. Kafi sara saman, sara shoot equipment or hamara luggage under ja chuka hai. And it's very easy to put things in because ye jo area hai, 41 millimeter jada hai. So yes, it can take in quite a few luggage and then some. Speaking of the cabin, I like this place, I like the treatment overall because especially in this turbo variant, feels very sporty. You have the all black treatment with red highlights here on the dashboard, on the seats and also around the gear lever. With the normal petrol engine, you get dual tone black and beige color combination so that feels a bit elegant but yes, both variants have their own character. Also, you have right amount of soft touch areas. Where you frequently touch frequently, you have soft touch treatment there, so a good touch. And where you don't, like, you have hard plastic. Milte. The quality of this plastic is again a notch premium. So yes, overall, the cabin feels very sporty and a notch premium than before. In fact, the turbo feels sportier with touches like sports pedals and red stitching on the upholstery which you don't get with the black and beige combo on the 1.5 MPI petrol. Then coming to the features, the new Verna is features abound. You get all the new age modern features and then some. 10.25 inch ka ye touch screen hai. Iske saath aapko Apple CarPlay, Android Auto milta hai. Do wired connectivity hai, wireless connectivity nahi hai. You also get wireless charger, power modes and features like sunroof, my personal favorite, the 8 speaker Bose sound system and 64 color ambient lighting. So yes, even in terms of features, you have got a pretty much sorted deal. You get this manual variant, mein normal parking brake, milte hai, but in the DCT or in the auto variant, you have got electric parking brakes. So again, few segment first features and speaking of segment first, the front seats are heated and ventilated. So yes, that is again a segment first treatment. Not to forget that the new Verna also has over 65 connected car features along with car to home connectivity using Alexa and Google Home. And then you have some cool and quirky features like this little button here. Right now, it is my aircon vent control, but it can also double up as my stereo control. The touch sensitive panel here you get this button se stereo controls bhi mil jate hai and you get aircon controls. Bhi mil jate hai. So yes, a cool feature. Then you also have something called quiet mode in the Verna. Basically, when your passengers are sleeping, at that you can use that mode to keep a check on the stereo volume so that they are not disturbed. Something which I'll be using when I have my family members around, especially on the longer commute. And now coming to the safety side of things where the Verna sees a major upgrade. You have got six airbags as standard on the new generation Verna and level 2 ADAS features. So the advanced driver assistance system level 2 features 
which gives you autonomous braking in case of forward collision or rear collision alert as well you have got your lane change monitor here also you have got adaptive cruise control so basically you can use this cruise control button you can set your speed and the car will slow down automatically if there's a traffic ahead you can relax for a while on the move and the car will maintain the lane like it is doing now but yes every now and then it will tell you to keep your hands on the steering wheel like i have got the signal now because yes you should follow that as a safety precaution a dash features are becoming quite the norm now and it's very responsive especially with pedestrian and two-wheeler alert and assist which is a good thing especially when you have children around the car the only irritating thing is that the steering tries to overcorrect you to keep in the lane even when there's no vehicle approaching and at higher speeds it gets unnerving it's been quite a smooth drive on the delhi mumbai expressway and all mumbai walas can now say dilli abdul nahi jokes aside back to the topic if you are to spend 20 lakh which will be the car you will buy well depends on your purpose agar aapki sabse zyada commute kharab raston pe hone wali hai long commute bahut hai jahan aapko ग्राउंड क्लियरेंस की 180 एटी मिलीमीटर के जहाँ से ज़्यादा की ग्राउंड क्लियरेंस की जरूरत पड़े और बड़े टायर्स की जरूरत पड़े एस यू वी इज समथिंग यू गो फॉर बट फॉर एवरी थिंग एल्स वर्ना इज ऑल द कार यू नीड एंड यू हैव फोर वेरियंट्स टू चूज फ्रॉम ई एक्स एस एस एक्स एंड एस एक्स ऑप्शनल प्राइसिस फॉर द बेस वन पॉइंट फाइव एम पी आई पेट्रोल वेरियंट पेगन एट टेन लाख नाइन्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज गोइंग ऑल द वे अप टू सिक्सटीन लाख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज The 1.5 turbo petrol is offered only in the SX and SX optional prims with prices beginning at 14 lakh 84000 rupees going up to 17 lakh 38000 rupees at this price tell us what you would buy SUV or the Verna and do like share subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you stay tuned with all our exciting automotive videos